Hello everyone. Hope you all doing well and welcome back to our Windows Server 2022 beginners video series on MSFT webcast. In this video, we will see the steps on how to create a desktop shortcut using group policy with Windows Server 2022. Group policies allows us to create a shortcut to a specific application on the desktops of targeted domain users. Using a GPO, we can create an application shortcut that's installed locally on computers. In addition, we can also specify a web URL and executable file on a shared network folder. When we deploy the GPO in our domain, the shortcuts appear on the user's desktop of each domain joined computer. In this example, we will create a shortcut to my website https msftwebcast.com. For this demo, we have two VMs running in Oracle VM VirtualBox. This is a Windows Server 2022 domain controller for msftwebcast.com domain. We have another domain joined Windows 10 VM. Log on to your Windows Server 2022 domain controller using a domain administrator's account. For this example, I have created an OU named HR. Under HR OU, we have created a test user account named Deepak Patel. We will link the GPU to this OU to test the result. On SAW Manage dashboard, click on Tools and select Group Policy Management. Right click the Group Policy Objects node and select New. Enter a friendly name for the new GPU. For example, Deploy Desktop Shortcuts GPU. Click OK to create a new GPU. The new GPU is created successfully. It's time to configure the settings of that GPU. Right click the new GPU and select Edit. In the Group Policy Management Editor window, navigate to User Configuration, Preferences and click on Windows Settings. Now we need to click on Shortcuts. Right click the shortcuts, select new and click on shortcut. We have to configure properties on the general tab. Set the action to update. We use update action to modify the existing configuration. If not, it creates a new shortcut. Type the name of the shortcut. Specify target type as URL. Now we have to enter where the shortcut should appear in the targeted systems. We will set the location to desktop. Now we need to enter the website or FTP URL which we want to deploy using the shortcut. In our case, it will be www.msftwebcast.com. We can also enter the combination of keys to open the shortcut. If you have an icon image associated with the shortcut, you can enter the path of the icon file here. It should be shared folder path. If you want to use the icon stored on local computers, you can select it from here as well. I'm going to click on cancel. Now I'm going to click on apply and OK to create this shortcut. We can still go back and edit the shortcut if required. Let's create another desktop shortcut. Right click shortcuts, select new and select shortcut. Again, set the action to update. Type the name of the shortcut. Now specify the target type as file system object and that is selected by default. We will set the location as desktop. See, you have other options. You can select these options from here. These are the location option which are available to us. In this example, I'll select desktop. Under target path, we have to type the UNC path of the shared folder. In our case, it will be UNC path WS2022 dc one slash HR data. This is the path to access the shared folder. Now I'm going to click on apply and OK. The second shortcut is also created successfully. Now I'm going to close the group policy editor window. This completes the GPU configuration. Since this is a user-based GPO, make sure you link the GPO to a location that will target the users. We have test users in HROU, so we will link the GPO there. Right-click on HROU, 
select link an existing GPO option. From the list, select deploy desktop shortcuts GPO and click on OK. The GPO is successfully linked to the targeted OU. To see the result, let's go to our Windows 10 computer. GPO settings will refresh automatically at every 90 minutes. To force the GPO settings to apply right now, we can use the GP update slash force command. Open run menu, type cmd and press enter key to open command prompt. Type gp updates slash force command and hit enter key to manually update the group policy. In background, we can see two desktop shortcuts has been created on desktop. One for website URL and second to access the shared folder. Let's click on this desktop shortcut. We can see we are accessing the shared folder which we have created on our Windows Server 2022. And similarly, if we see the properties of this shortcut, we can see the website URL www.msaptivewebcast.com. So in this video, we have learned how to deploy shortcuts on desktop using group policy in Windows Server 2022 Active Directory. That's all for this video. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions and suggestions regarding this video, please let me know in the comments section. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.